in the 1950s when we grew up in South Africa in Cape Town, my father gave us each a plot to grow our own little vegetables. And we grew tomatoes. And he, my father taught us how to grow tomatoes, to grow them tall, and uh, get the maximum amount of um, vegetables, uh, of, of fruit from a single plant. I still follow the advice my father gave in those times. In the 1970s, when I lived on Dukosi Island, the world was at war and, and uh, everything, uh, Vietnam War, and everybody was disillusioned with uh, the way the world was going, uh, one war after another. And uh, I had a friend who had a plot quite close to us, and uh, one day I saw this fellow standing in the garden and he kept on looking at this potato plant and he turned to me after moments of silence and he said to me, Carl, the only sanity I know in this world is to watch this potato plant grow. And so I've enjoyed growing the garden because it brings me close to nature. It it puts me in touch with Mother Earth and how also when these flowers grow and they bloom for such a short time, it reminds me of the transience of all life and how we are only here for a short time. And so we enjoy the short time with whatever grows in Mother Earth. So here we have a, a, a number of different varieties of uh, tomatoes. And what we've done here is, so that they grow up tall, we cut off all the little offshoots here. And uh, so this is an uh, early girl. And we have a somewhat unique uh, um, variety. Looks like a bit of a pear. Very tasty. Yellow. This one's ripe to eat. And of course, the sweet one, thousands, the cherry tomatoes. They produce like crazy. and. Uh, it, when it comes to be like August, I, I take off, I don't let any more blooms form because they won't, uh, it's too late in the season. Uh, otherwise, uh, so all the energy go into what is already there rather than let it create uh, tomatoes which won't ripen.